Today we're going to talk about the Mayfield Childcare IPO. The uh, company is planning to list on the ASX on the 28th of November by raising 24 million. Uh, the company will own and operate 16 childcare centers, uh, predominantly located in suburban Melbourne. Um, by the time of the offer, the, the company will manage 1,300 licensed places. Um, and it does not own any of the childcare centers as of yet, but they will be acquired as part of the IPO process. All right, let's look at some of the catalysts for the IPO. The company is planning to consolidate childcare centers in a highly fragmented industry. Um, when it comes to growth, management is targeting on the one hand to grow via acquisitions, uh, basically purchase more childcare centers down the track. Um, but at the same time, uh, management also plans to um, improve margins and save costs amongst the existing childcare centers. They call it usually uh, an optimization program. Basically, they know what to do with these childcare centers and then they're planning to apply that in a practical setting. Um, they're also planning to distribute a dividend to shareholders, which will yield almost 8%, 65% of earnings. Um, and integration of the, the 16 individual childcare centers will be the main value driver for the IPO. Um, equally as important as the catalysts are the hurdles, we have identified uh, three potential risks, which are concentration risks, uh, balance sheet risks, and also integration risks. Let's start with the concentration risk. All 16 centres are currently located in Melbourne, so we have no diversification across Australia. Down the track, management is planning to acquire childcare centres in other states, but for the time being, it's all located in Melbourne, so you're fully exposed to the market there. Um, in terms of integration risks, there's no guarantee that the 16 centers will work together um, equally as good as they do individually. And there's also no guarantee that management can A, save costs and B, um, improve uh, margins uh, for each of the centers. Uh, when we're talking about balance sheet risk, what I'm trying to say is it is very important that management does not purchase too many centers at a, at a fast pace. Uh, we have seen this before with ABC Learning. Um, it didn't work well. And even the stock price of G8 Education, which is one of the peers in the industry, has taken a, uh, or has undergone a correction over the last two years when management was buying too many centers. Uh, you simply can't accumulate too much debt. Um, and that will then later weigh on the share price. So in summary, we believe the Mayfield IPO ticks a lot of the boxes. Wiseau has rated it with three out of five points. Um, as mentioned before, integration of the individual uh, childcare centers will be a main value driver. While at the same time, if management can make additional purchases down the track, and at the same time not put too much stress on the balance sheet, then that should be positive for the stock price. A company is listing at a market cap of $30 million, and if you compare the relative valuation with the peers in the industry, such as GI Education or Think Childcare, the valuation as a whole seems reasonable. Uh, you have the concentration, the balance sheet, and also the integration risks as potential hurdles, but as management targets the distribution of a dividend of nearly 8%, the float seems appropriate for investors looking for both capital growth and income. Mm -hmm.